Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with another Upcycled Fashions video. I am going to try to turn these jeans, they're black denim, I'm going to try to turn these into a vest, a very simple vest. I've actually seen maybe three or four videos that did something similar to this, so it did give me an idea, but none of the videos I watched had voice. It was just people doing something really quick over music. I don't know how half of the people would ever even know what to do. I can just look at that and get an idea of my own, so those videos work out okay for me. But first, before I forget, these lovely jeans are from Diane in Maryland. Hi, Diane! Hi. If you haven't heard your name yet, don't worry. I have a long way to go. Trying to do upcycled fashions every week. I'm currently trying to do them on Thursdays. I never really wanted to do this because I thought it was going to be too simple, but I'm going to go ahead and do it. And it'll give you an idea of what you can do and then it can be embellished. I don't even think I'm going to um, hem edges. I think I'm going to leave like the armhole openings raw and it would fray a little bit. It'll look cool. You are certainly welcome to do any hemming you want or to put bias tape around it or whatever you feel like doing. I'm going to keep it simple. You obviously need um, jeans that are going to be big enough for you. Now my mannequin is certainly not super huge, but it is surprising how much fabric you do need. I'm going to start with the hip area. The pant legs, this is going to be like the top of the vest, and I'm just going to make it as long as it can be. It can always easily be shortened if necessary just by cutting it. Let's deconstruct. All I'm going to do is cut off the two legs, and I'm going to cut you know, just under the crotch, I'm going to use as much of the legs as I possibly can. Can I do double thickness at once? I sure can. Now this, I am absolutely saving. I'm going to put Diane's name back on it, and we can use that in a future video. I can see this turning into a nice denim skirt, adding some fabric to the bottom. Simple, simple. We shall revisit. Now for this, I need to decide what I want to have in the front. I actually took a little break, turned the AC on. It was getting quite toasty in here and I had to upload a video. So now I'm back and I am thinking that this is like very flared. I just don't know how that's going to look and it's not quite as long as I envisioned, but we're going with it. I want to cut off the um, the hems on the bottom of the pants because I don't want to be dealing with sewing through something that thick. So I'm cutting this off. And I'm going to save these two because you never know, uh, you know, if I cut that in half, the two of them together would make some cute little handles for a tote bag. In other words, it'll be in my stash for the rest of my life. And now I just need to decide. I was thinking that since I don't want to do any hemming, I could cut along a seam and let that be the front, you know, the, um, like the hemmed opening. I just need to turn this leg this way. <gasps> okay. So I'm going to try that. So I'm just going to cut like this. Hmm, that was so kind of funky there. It's like the hem did something different at that point. It was sewn on the other side. Manufacturer goof. That side didn't have that goof. Well, that's unfortunate, but this is going to be the front anyway. Ooh, so I can cut the neckline down and that'll take care of that problem. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is I need to sew this together. So I'm going to put right sides together and I'm just going to stitch down. I don't think I'm going to take you to the machine because I'm just doing very basic stitching. I'm just sewing like right there. So now I have a piece that looks like this. Wow, this would make an awesome skirt if you've got a waist that tiny. If not, you could always uh, take two pairs of jeans and use multiple panels. Anyway, I'm going to now, let's see, 
This is the seam I just sewed, and I'm just leaving that raw. I'm good with that. I am going to need to do the armholes, and I um, made it, you know, even up here. I started up here, so that matches. Very crooked down here. We'll take care of that after. I'm going to, let's see here, fold this in and fold this in. Actually, what's an easier way to do this? There has to be an easier way. I don't know that there is. Let's do it this way. Like that and that. And I need to fold this in half like this. And that looks like it's matching up just about right because we need to cut some armholes. So I'm going to go uh, measure my mannequin. I don't have any chalk, so I'm going to use a pin. I just measured from the top of her shoulder down to like where I want the armhole to end. And uh, it looks like about 10. So I'm just going to mark 10 here. And then I'm just going to eyeball, like maybe start here for the, the top of the shoulder. So I'm just going to start here and I'm just going to cut at a curve to there. So we have that. I need to handle the back and the front differently. So I'm going to open this up now and I'm going to put just my fronts together. I'm going to have the shoulder maybe like four inches and then I'm just going to cut rounded to make the neck in the front. Like that. <laughs> this is confusing. I need to round off the back. So I'm going to put this there and this there. So you can see it starting to come together. Ooh, that's um kind of a very like pointy little neck thing going on. But that's all right. I'll just see what that looks like on her really quick. Now for the back, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to make the straps a little bit narrower. So I'm going to do just the front first. And I'm just going to eyeball that on both sides, kind of do the same thing. I'm a good eyeballer. Now I'm just going to snip and snip to match the width of the um, tops of the shoulders. And then I'm just going to round the neck in the back a little bit. And uh, again, that's not a very big uh, neck. It's kind of deep too. Okay, that's a hot mess. <laughs> that's very crooked. So let me fold this in half which is what you're all saying anyway. That should match up nicely in the back. And now I just need to make my shoulders of this a little bit smaller. And this is exactly how you're supposed to do this. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so kidding. always the things that I think are going to be so easy that end up sucking. Okay, good enough. I'm just gonna go see like if this is at all right. <laughs> I'm always in shock as to how much fabric something takes. This is not anywhere near the length I thought it would be. I was like imagining it going down to like past her butt, like mid-thigh, not happening. And the back of this neck is just too narrow, so I'm actually going to have to widen it a little bit. The straps are going to be narrow. I, I took too much off of this side of the strap, didn't I? I did. All right, I'm going to um, just alter this a little tiny bit. I hope you believe me now when I say these are not tutorials. So not. You just get to watch me struggle and suffer. Now I need to trim the other side to match once again. It'll be amazing if I end up liking this. I don't think there's a chance of that. 
Okay, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, with right sides facing, I'm just going to stitch these uh, lovely shoulder seams. <laughs> Here's the deal. This up here is just too small for my mannequin. So I solved the problem. It's going on the smaller mannequin. And it looks kind of cute on her. Even though it is like super wide, I like it. So I'm going to um, now straighten out this very uneven bottom. Oh, can I make it a high-low? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it's uh, not cut out for that. My God, how is it so difficult to just uh, do this? Frustrated! Upcycle fashion days are so scary for me. It can make me or break me. All right, so yeah, this is the side here. So this is very uneven. So I'm going to, um, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm supposed to even be aiming for. Okay, that's the front. The front is like this. The back is like this. I'm just going to start where it's the shortest and I'm cutting across. I'm so brave. I'm going to be ending there because that's that's the end. <laughs> I probably could have rounded it or something. Okay, one thing I'm going to do is this is the seam on the inside and I'm just going to fold it to one side and sew it down so it's more flat. I'm going to do that on both sides. I think I'm calling this done. I will go put it on the mannequin. I don't know. Now, like I said, you could always hem this. Another thing that you could do is even just top stitch. You don't have to fold it over or anything, but you could top stitch and then it will only unravel as far as that stitching, but it really won't unravel that far anyway, even if left alone. These loose things will come apart and come off and then it'll be done, you know, fraying. Another thing you could do is you could always snip this a little bit like we do with rag quilting. I would do that but then I'd have to wash and dry it and then this video would not be ready for today because I don't feel like doing that right now. And you could do the same on the bottom. You could snip it a little bit and then let it rag. That might be really cool. You can also add trim. You could, you know, put some snaps on it if you wanted or even just decorative buttons. Any kind of decorations that you want, some fancy stitching, whatever. But I'm leaving it like this, and we're going to go put it on the mannequin. I'll see you over there. Okay, here's the deal. I don't hate it. I don't really love it, by any means. It's a little bit big for her, but it was too small for her. And if you want to see me make that skirt, I will have the playlist for my Upcycle Fashions in the description below and also on the end screen and in the pinned comment. And this skirt, do you guys remember this one? I think this was a maternity sweater and it was the waistband of something else that I used and I saved the waistband and it came out pretty cute. So I just put a white tank on her and I kind of rolled it up. I just wanted her to look, you know, sweet and sassy. And I, uh, you know, I, I don't love the fact that this isn't hemmed. I would actually rather have it hemmed or maybe fringed, like I said, uh, snipped and then washed and let it fray and it would just be a little ruffly frayed edge. I think I'd like that very much. The neck could certainly be cut deeper, like way deeper, like down to there, but I just pushed it back a little bit. And like I said, when you play with stuff like this, it's always better to not cut too much because then you can always keep cutting after. Now I am going to try to pull her away from the wall so we can look at the back. That's not really that bad considering that I was just chopping away at it. I'm trying to tuck the, um, the white in. Now see this, this I don't like at all. But like I said, after a couple washings, that would just, uh, you know, stop. So it's kind of cute in the back. There's like a little point in the back and I kind of like that a little bit. You know, again, it's a little bit wide for her, but it's kind of cute. I don't hate it. I think that there's much room for improvement and I like that. See, I just folded the neckline in 
to see if I liked that better. That's pretty cool with the V. But th I like that. I think I like that. Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys some ideas. I gave up on it because I was starting to, like, not enjoy it. And I'm um, coming to the conclusion that this is, like... Of a series I hate the most of any that I've ever done. But <laughs> I'm going to keep doing them. Right. Thank you so much, Diane, for the jeans. I will be doing something with the upper part of the jeans, I am sure. Please subscribe so you don't miss any future upcycled fashions or anything else that I do. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!